I've written <clears throat> I've written quite a bit about the uh, poor quality of the modern Aeolian uh, player piano air motor. Uh, this unit is one of the ones that has the uh, sliding plastic valve. Um, I've taken all of the plastic valves off and I've taken off all of the, the guides. They're all numbered so that they can go back exactly where they came from. And the thing that's important here is to note all of these voids here, 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 down here, down here, somewhat down here. What you see here in these spaces is where the sliding valve has been rubbing as it goes up and down. It rubs and because of the fact that the plastic is uh, actually got is made of uh, is made of oil okay, um, it leaves a, a shadow mark every place where it's rubbed. As a matter of fact when you feel this with your finger you can actually feel a small amount of drag here as compared to right here. Right here it's nice and slippery and right here it's actually got kind of a drag feel to it. Uh, almost almost a slight sticky feeling. Okay. That's because they don't have an adequate amount of graphite on the motor uh, which would help which would help prevent this stickiness although that's not the problem. Uh, this motor was sent to me because it's leaking and, and it's leaking so badly that it's uh, bringing down the entire system in the player piano and I tested it and sure enough I mean it's I could tell immediately it was leaking like a sieve. <clears throat> so I took it apart and the first thing I noticed is that there are all these voids. Well this is the main vacuum channel and of course before the air can get to the bellow it has to go through the vacuum channel and it goes as it slides down here, as it slides up here the vacuum is trapped inside here and then when it slides down to here the, the vacuum transfers from here to here via this cutout right there. I'm going to try to get so that you can see in the light you might be able to see down here this shiny part right here and we'll see if we can get up here you can see the shiny part up here shiny part over here shiny part over here and what we're looking for on this to find out if it's flat is that there is a, a dull area all the way around and that indicates that this surface is flat. So as it's sliding up and down the surface, the, this surface itself is flat. Unfortunately what's not flat is this surface. Obviously because of these voids that you see all the way along here, this area right here, this whole area right along here is actually dipping down a small amount creating that void underneath there and that is going to have to be fixed before this motor will work properly and we can get into that later um, the next thing I'm doing, going to do is I'm going to check the integrity of this air channel I'm going to seal all this off with a piece of tape and then I'm going to test to find out whether or not the air is because this is supposed to be a sealed chamber in here all of these um, this whole area down in here is um, 
covered with shellac or some sort of a sealant on the inside. And what I found over the years is that uh, the wood that they used, this wood that they used was not well enough dried um, and it cracks and then air is actually leaking internally through the wood and out the back of the motor on the back side leaking right through the wood and out into the atmosphere and we're going to check that and find out if that's the case with this motor.